In April of this year, the 107-year-old steamship SS Kowatan left its home of Port McNichol for the last time. Its new home will be the Maritime Museum of the Great Lakes in Kingston, Ontario. She was towed down Lake Huron, along Lake St. Clair, and then along the Detroit River before heading up Lake Erie. This is where I got to see the great ship myself. That is amazing! On April the 28th, she arrived at Port Coburn, where she entered the Welland Canal. And then after that, she was lost to Hamilton Harbour, where she is now currently undergoing a retrofit and a little TLC. Well, it's now time once again to meet up with the SS Kuwatan. Experience Canada's marine heritage with a tour aboard the massive SS Kiwaden in Simcoe County, just a short drive north of Barrie and a step back in time. Kiwaden is five years older than Titanic and the last steamship of her kind in the world. Marvel at her restored beauty and discover the luxury and power of the Edwardian era while you learn about her journeys through the Great Lakes. Tours start every... So here I am, I'm on Lake Ontario right now. Uh... On my way into Hamilton Harbour, so technically I'm in Burlington still, just about in Burlington. Once I go underneath this bridge, uh, which is, uh, takes you underneath the QEW, and it's also the lift bridge which allows ships into Hamilton Harbour, we will be in Hamilton Harbour. And once there, I'm going to try and have a look around and see where I can find the SS Kowatan, which is right now going under a, a refurb here in uh, Hamilton. So let's go and have a look, see if we can find it. Ago, this is where Kowatan, SS Kowatan was actually towed down here. Uh, plenty of videos online of people lining the, uh, the uh, harbour wall here, the entrance, to get a glimpse of the uh, classic steamship as it came into Hamilton. idea where the ship is. Um, a few uh, weeks ago I was on the Skyway which I am nearly every day traveling backwards and forwards. I was just in traffic and I was looking over uh, to one of the steel factories just over here, the one to the closest to the city and I just worked out the funnel of the SS Kowatan so I know it should be somewhere. It should be somewhere just over there. So that's where we're gonna go and head. We're gonna go and check it out. Let's go. Founder. Uh, as soon as we go around this corner, and there she is, bought up, having a refurb. Let's go and take a closer look. I may have only met her a few months ago for the very first time. Uh, but getting closer towards her now, it feels like seeing an old friend. I'm kind of drawn to it, I really am. All right, there she is, and her glory. Uh, sadly, the sun's going around the back of it, uh, so it's pretty backlit right here. It's in a shadow. Uh, what I'm going to try and do, it's a little breezy, I, I might be able to get it, I'm going to try and get a drone shot and just go slightly around it because the sun will shine on the other side, so I can get a shot of it looking back over the water uh, see if we can get that at least uh, There's a couple of guys working up there, or just talking anyway uh, I'll tell you a bit more about the refurbishment in a moment In the meantime, let's get the drone up
I saw the Kiwatan, I didn't actually get this close to it. Uh, I kind of stayed my distance, so uh, I really am close to it now. I'm literally 10 meters away. Is that six meters? No, 10 meters. I'm right up against the hole here at the front, the bow of the ship. Fascinating. Look at this. Just dwarfs me completely. <laughs> How long she here for? How long she here for? The summer? Okay, she's still expected to go to Kingston into the summer then. Well, they've got a lot of work to do. They're going to try and get it up there. I mean, we're into July now. As you can see from the drone shots, a lot of work to be done on there. So there's a. Uh, her propeller in the water right here. Kiwatin, Montreal. So this is the Heedle uh, Marine, our shipyard. This is where the uh, SS Kowatan is going under major renovations. A $2 million retrofit, which will include um, the reconstruction of the promenade, which is that bit on the upper deck. Uh, also, they're going to uh, reinforce the funnel, uh, which is the, the dark and yellow with the black bit on top, uh, rebuild the wheelhouse, and finally, give her a lick of paint. And that's what she's here for, for the summer. And uh, I originally heard she's going to be leaving here September, October. Uh, but let's say we're already into July and I've not seen much work being done in comparison. It looks exactly the same as she did when I saw her back in April. I have a question regarding the ship and the people that come out to look at it. What captivates us all with this particular ship? Uh, what has got you captivated by it? Um, my last video gained thousands and thousands of viewers who were just in awe by it. And that was then shown again by the amount of people along its route when it sailed down from Port McNichol uh, all the way down to where here in Hamilton, where big crowds are gathered all along at many ports, bridges, and so on, just to get a glimpse of this historic uh, ship which, like we said in the original video, uh, uh, from the Titanic era. Uh, it was built, what, five or six years before the Titanic, uh, built in the, the UK, and it has that similar Edwardian design, but on a much smaller scale than what the Titanic would have been. Uh, so what has got everyone in awe of wanting to come and check this ship out wherever it goes? Uh, what does it hold for you? Leave a comment below and tell me. Uh, tell me what you think about it. What, what holds you captivated by it? I uh, wanted to find out more and more about this ship and so on. Make sure you leave a comment below. Many of you out there, like myself, have probably never even heard of this ship uh, just a few months ago uh, until it came on the news or social media that this Edwardian style ship was gonna be making its way down here onto Lake Ontario. Uh, I started watching a couple of videos on this probably about a week prior to me going out and capturing this on um, Lake Erie. And it, it, it really was a lucky occasion. It just so happened I was off work on that Friday and I started planning my trip probably on the Monday uh, to get out there, hoping the weather was gonna go, uh, be in my favor so I can get the drone up and get the shots. I never guessed in my wildest dreams 
how successful that video would have become. I was blown away. Um, the original video was set out originally to just be like a sea do adventure video, which is what I do a lot of. Uh, but as soon as I started filming, I realized it was going to be more than that. It's going to be more of a historic thing. And uh, it ended up being an absolutely fantastic video. One of my favorite videos I've ever actually produced and edited. So I'm glad it was very successful. And I thank you all for watching that video. Uh, it really means a lot, especially all the very kind comments in the comment section. Uh, really, really appreciative. Okay, so what we'll do now is basically we'll come back here probably another two or three months before it's due to sale i'll come back and check probably early september maybe labor day weekend or just after and we'll see if we can spot any differences between this video i've done right now and then we'll just, we'll just i'll just post an update probably in september so we can see uh, what they're up to and hopefully by then we may have a schedule of when it's due to make its way up to kingston and if possible i'm going to try and ride alongside it as it leaves hamilton so i can get some footage and even better still uh if it falls on my time off work i'm going to make sure i get up to kingston with the sea do and uh, capture it coming in on lake ontario into kingston making its way in to the uh, national maritime museum